we're looking at here is the fuel point of sale system which is available within the Autosoft suite of programs. Just demonstrate quickly how the point of sale screen works. We begin with either a cash sale or alternatively to someone who may hold an account with the business. We then add the item to the screen and it's best to have these set up as simply code number one, maybe unleaded, number two, maybe premium, three diesel and so on. We also have a list of available pumps there, so we'll say it was item code one, unleaded on pump one, and we then just simply add in, in dollar figures, the amount of fuel which has been purchased. So in this case here, I've got $80 worth of unleaded for this particular cash sale. Now, we basically say in this example that was all that was being purchased. The operator can then finalise the transaction and we can take multiple methods of payment here. This example is set up with cash, FPOS, check, MasterCard or direct payment and you can set up as, as many or as few of those payment categories as you like. Let's say in this case $100 in cash was tendered. Um, we just hit the OK button. The system tells the operator to return $20 in cash and asks if the um, customer would like a tax invoice or not. In this instance, I'm going to raise the invoice to one of our account customers. We'll pick up Advanced Automotive Services at diesel this time from pump 2 and we'll put in $85. Now we'll also grab some items from the shop. Now a barcode scanner interface works with the system here also. In this case I'll select the items manually. Just in the description there I'll put in coke and we'll select a diet coke and and a Mars bar to go with the diesel fuel. In this case we finalize the sale and you'll note the point of sale screen doesn't come up because this customer is an account holder. It will ask however if they would like a tax invoice at this time. Behind the scenes we see the fuel grades module here which is allows us to set up multiple fuel grades. In this system there are three set up but as you can see you can set up as many fuel grades as you require. We can see here the sell price so 120.5 cents per litre. We can also see the average costs and last costs for the fuel of this type which was purchased and we can also see the litres on hand and also things such as the console leaders and things like the daily fuel totals to assist you in doing a fuel stock reconciliation. There is also a setup screen for fuel pumps. We can have as many pumps as you require for your business. This one has three pumps set up pumps one to three and the different fuel grades which are associated with them. As a part of pump management there's also a meter reading for the pump and also some additional information to assist you in fuel reconciliation. The Autosoft fuel module also comes complete with a fuel shop stock maintenance screen which allows you to set up, manage and maintain the inventory that you might have in your fuel store and these things may include things like oils and lubricants, coolants as well as snacks and drinks. We can see here on the screen we have a Dare chocolate milk which is sold individually for a price of 
and purchased for a price of $2.40 and we can see we have 10 of these on hand. To enable you to manage promotional items, there is a promotion management center here which allows you to set up promotions for the sale of different items. As we can see here, we've got set up a buy one get one free type promotion which will run for a specified period of time and sets the price which the promotion is to sell for. There's also something like a Coke and a Mars for a set price. You can actually set the prices in here when those combination of items are purchased together. And there's also a range of other different kinds of promotions you can set up. There's two for a set price, buy one get one free as we've just seen, three for a set price, or buy this item to get another item free. Part of your fuel stock reconciliation, you can utilize the fuel maintenance screen here to record and make adjustments to dip and console levels of fuels in stock and sold.